And now let's talk about two HTML elements that we didn't learn in HTML tutorial because I didn't see that there would be much use for them. But they're actually very, very used in HTML and CSS. Just the thing is it doesn't like it's kind of hard to sh uh, show in HTML because you will see what I'm talking about, right? So they're called div and span. So let's go here in the bottom and I'm going to create those elements, right? So the first one is going to be div, like I said, and you can see that it has a opening and closing tag and the span over here again, opening and closing tag, right? And since we right now know the type selectors, let's go over here and let's bravely say div and let's say background color. I'm going to say red. Okay. And okay, well, interesting, nothing happened, but now let's try with the span, right? Background color, and we're going to say blue. Right? And again, nothing happened. And now before you start breaking the live editor of the brackets, let me just tell you to slow down, right? So the thing is these two elements, right? That's this is why I didn't seem to find the useful to actually teach them in HTML. Because in general, what we're using them for is actually for grouping the other elements together, right? So by itself, you can see that nothing is happening. I have both of them, I'm targeting them, my actual rules and properties, everything is correct, but nothing is happening, right? Nothing is changing. Now, let's do some, some magic, right? Let's take this heading two, right, the paragraph over here, and let's cut it over here, and let's place it in a div, right? Oh, wow. And now it's red. Well, the thing is, it's actually used for grouping. Like I was, like I kept repeating myself, right? So actually, we use this div, right? And over here, we're going to use something that we're going to later on learn is going to be ID and the class. And actually, when I say later on, it's going to be actually video, right? So over here, we would use the ID, right? Or the class or something like that. Or we can just target them in general, right? Over here. But in general, they're used for grouping, right? So here we could have a, let's say, one div, right? This is going to be grouping this paragraph. Then we're going to have another div that's actually going to be grouping the paragraph. And what are the spans used for, right? So let's go over here, and I'm going to show you what the spans are used for. So we're going to cut it over here. And let's say that I would want to target just this one uh, name, right? So I'm going to copy and paste this, and we're going to get this one name, right? So I'm going to cut it out, and I'm going to paste it over here and now you can see what happened right so the span is used if we want something called inline and again and i'm sorry that i'm repeating that we're ba basically we're going to cover some stuff later but unfortunately i have to start from somewhere and sometimes the, that's the way it works that we're going to be covering some things that we're not going to know for sure in the beginning but once we're going to learn some other thing right what is inline then we're actually going to cover it for now what we need to remember that div and span is actually used for grouping. Div we're using to actually group a bunch of elements like together like this. And span we're actually using in a text, right? If we want certain type of text to actually stand out. Now that's not the only case for the span, but that's let's let's say for now that's what we're going to be focusing on. Now there's one more thing that I want to go over with the div and span that if we learn two more properties and its values, we actually can make the div appear, but not the span. So if we go back over here to main CSS, and remember we had the colors, right? So we had a background color red and background color blue, right? So if I go to div, and let's say I'm going to add width, and I'm going to say 50 pixels, and I'm going to say height, 50 pixels. And remember that the background color is red, right? So right away, actually my div appears. Now, if I do the same thing with span, nothing is going to happen. Because like I said, this was the inline element, right? So if we copy and paste this, right, you can see nothing happens. However, if I go back over here and just write anything in a span, like one letter, it's going to actually appear.